I'm in the army, so I come from a boxing background. I box a lot in the army, so yeah, I'd say I'm definitely a stand-up fighter. As, as in that, it's us. Is that what you mean by background? Yeah, yeah. My my background is a stand-up. I, I box a lot, so I still I still carry on boxing, fighting boxing at the minute. So yeah, I'm definitely a stand-up fighter. Yeah, I, I, working out in the gym is always going to be hard. You, if, if you got a good fight coming up, you're going to train hard for it and fight. You get get ready for it. So it's as hard as you make it. So you push yourself as far as you can go. So it's definitely harder to train for a fight than it is to for anything else if you ask me. Uh, I've actually got a sign like like waivers and that to stop, you know, just in case I get injured or anything. But um, yeah, they're pretty good with it. I've I've, I've had something like uh, 13 fights since I've been in the army MMA, uh, amateur and then pro, and uh, they, they've they've let me get away for it every time. Let me get a day before for the weigh in and stuff like this. So. Yeah, the army's good about it, I think. Yeah, no, I, ju I just really enjoy the fight. You know I mean, I've done, I've, I've, I've had eight professional fights now, but I'm not doing it as a professional. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. I enjoy the fight. You know what I mean? Every time, so it's just a, it's a real good buzz. And really get in there, have, have the fight, all the hard training goes to work. So yeah, uh, it was just I was, I was a young lad. I was 16. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll have a go at something, and I try. I, I looked at the army and then the parachute regiments, the elite of the army, and I thought, if you're gonna have got it, go for go for the best. So I done that. I joined joined the parachute regiment. And I've enjoyed it. I've done four years now and two tours, and everything's been great with the army. You know I mean, I, I recommend it to anyone. 16, 17, four years. You know what I mean? You do your four year service. Get out. You're only 21. You got plenty plenty left in the tank to do anything else you want to do. Yeah. Well, um, it's. The, it's, a, it's a tough time in Afghan, you know. I mean, you, you're fighting, but you, it's what you join to do. So you, it's not, it's not something that uh, I'm, I wish I never done. I've, I'm, I'm glad to have joined the army, and obviously it's not, it's not nice. You know, you got some friends that pass away and stuff, but shit happens. You know, what I mean, it's, you just get on with it and carry on. That's what being a soldier is about, I think. Carl Noon, I know, I know a lot about him. I've, I've seen him fight loads of times. He's, we've been sort of. Like bouncing around each other for a while, I'd say he's he's seven and one. I mean, you know, it's a perfect matchup. I think it is worthy of the British title. I think so. so it's, uh, I know a lot about him. I know he he got he got a very good takedowns, uh, very good ground and pound. But if if he if I keep him on his feet, he's gonna have a tough night. I think. So, well, I'm just happy to be on the card. You know, it's, it's some brilliant fights on there. You got Jimmy Wallhead, uh, Paul Daly. Uh, obviously, Nate McCart's not fighting, but just to be in the same press conference of him is uh, something to be proud of. You know what I mean? There's uh, it's lots of brilliant fights on it. And Andre Winner, can't wait to watch that fight. This, uh, if I if I weren't fighting on it, I'd be going to watch the show. You know what I mean?